Hi everyone, today we'll be answering potential Java interview questions related to overriding and overloading. So without further ado, let's get started with the first one. What is overloading? So overloading is a concept where you can have multiple methods with the same name, but a different method signature in a single class. Method signature involves name of the method, number, and types of parameters, but it does not include return type. In the example displayed here, you can see class A having multiple print message methods. First two methods have only one parameter, but they differ by their types. Second and the third one are different by number of actual parameters. We can see that the difference between the third and fourth method is only in the order of the parameters, which still makes it a valid overloaded method. Here we have an invalid example where the only difference between those two methods is in their return type. As I mentioned before, return type is not part of the method signature and Java does report a compile time error in this case. What is overriding? Overriding, also referred to as dynamic polymorphism, is a concept which allows that subclass can provide an implementation of an already defined method in their superclass. Which of those implementations will be executed will then be decided by Java in the runtime based on the actual object that has been created. In this example, we have two classes, shape as a superclass and square as a subclass. Both of them define draw method with different implementations. Note the override annotation, which is not mandatory, but it's nice to have because it introduces constraints in the compile time. So if we would not have a draw method in the shape class, we would get a compile time error. Here, we have defined two references of type shape. We assign a new object of type shape to the first one, an object of type square to the second one. We called draw method on both of them, and we see that in the console output, we got two different messages. So both implementations of draw method have been executed based on the actual objects that have been assigned. Can we override overloaded methods? Overriding overloaded methods is perfectly fine as overloaded methods are just regular methods. In this example, we have class shape, which has an overloaded method draw. In the subclass square, we overridden both of them. And as you can see, there are no compile time errors reported by Java. Can we override private methods? Private methods are only accessible from the class where they are defined. As shown here, this draw method is only accessible from class shape, so square class cannot reach that draw method. As we mentioned in one of our previous questions, having an override annotation could be useful. Reason for that is shown in this example. Having it here gives us a compile time error. Without that annotation, Java would not report an error, but we could be misled that we have overridden private method in the shape class. So we can conclude that it is not possible to override a private method. Can we override static method? Static methods in Java are on the class level, so we don't have to create objects in order to execute them. Because of this, we cannot apply dynamic polymorphism as we could on the non-static methods. We can have the same signature of a static method and subclass as we do in the superclass. However, that will not be overriding. As we don't have an override annotation, we're not getting a compile time error. In this example, you can see that class is shape and square are in parent-child relationship both have static method draw with the same signature. This concept is being called method hiding. In the console output you can see that draw method called on subclass has been executed. Since we can't use keyword super we cannot reach the draw method of the base class leading to a method hiding. Here we commented out method draw from the class square. And because of that, we can now reach the base class static method. Can we overload overridden method? 
overridden methods can be overloaded as any other methods if we apply the same rules that we mentioned in the first question. As displayed here, we have two overloaded draw methods in the square class, where one of them overrides method from the superclass shape. As expected, this code compiles successfully. Bear in mind that if we would also have a draw method with a string parameter in the superclass shape, then we would both have overloading and overriding on both methods of the class square, while we would only have overloading in the class shape. Can we override final method? Final keyword is being used to restrict extending of classes and overriding of methods in Java. Method defined with the final keyword is also known as the final method. This allows developers to enforce the constraint where re-implementing a method in a subclass cannot be done. With that, subclasses will have to use the same implementation of the final method everywhere. Here, we tried overriding a final method in the subclass square, but as expected, we are getting a compile time error. This error would also be reported if we would not be using an override annotation. Can we overload final method? Final keyword does not affect method overloading, so we can definitely overload final methods. As shown in the example, we have defined three draw methods with different number of parameters. Java does not report a compile time error, so this is clearly a valid case. If we would have two methods, like in the example displayed, that only differ by the presence of the final keyword, Java would complain. This clearly shows that final is not part of the method signature. Can we change return type in overridden method? We already described what overriding is in one of the previous questions. We know that for overriding we need a subclass and a superclass, and both of them should have a method with the same signature. But since return type is not part of the signature, does that mean we can change it however we find it convenient? Short answer to that question is no. We need to follow some basic rules in order to change the return type of the overridden method. Example displayed here shows that we cannot use the wrapper class double as a return type in the overridden method surface of the square class when integer is returned from the base class shape. Moving on to the next example. We change the return type of the surface method in the base class shape and voila, Java does not complain anymore. Looking at the class hierarchy at the top right corner, we see that number and double are in parent-child relationship and only in this case, changing the return type is valid. We can generalize this rule and say that the overridden method can have a different return type as long as it's a subclass of the return type of the superclass method. Bear in mind that you cannot do this with primitive types as they cannot be in parent-child relationship. Can we overload main method? Main method is the starting point of any Java program. Without that static method, we cannot start our application. But since it's so special, can it be overloaded? We basically answer that question with a given example where we clearly see that Java doesn't report any compile time errors. One thing to keep in mind is that while we may have multiple static main methods, only one of them will be the entry point of the application. JVM will look up for the specific signature of the main method, one that received a single parameter which is an array of strings. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it and you would like to see more content of this type, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and we will try to respond as soon as possible. Till next time, goodbye.